Hi, welcome back uh, to LearnPiezoelectricity.org, free course on piezoelectricity and piezoelectric material. So we're continuing speaking about K squared, which is the electromechanical coupling coefficient. Uh, this is not, this is kind of long, nice to just call something short. But I'm going to explain to you, like, there's some really uh, misconception about this um, property. It's called a coupling coefficient. And let me tell you that this is not efficiency. Because what efficiency refers to is loss energy, loss energy. But what the coupling factor is telling us is converted energy versus input energy. There's also another term called stored energy. So that we're not that it's not existing here. So efficiency refers to loss energy. Actually, this k squared uh, is not is not telling us loss. It's telling us conversion. For example, I put in one joule of energy to the piezo input, and then I have let's say zero point three joules converted. And I have zero point, let's say seven joules. So, so I put zero point three joules converted, okay, to uh, to mechanical energy. What's the k constant? K squared equals one joule over zero point three joules, and therefore I get zero point three. That's the coupling coefficient. As you can imagine, the coupling coefficient ranges between 1 and 0. This is for a material with no, no piezo, and this is a material with high quality, high piezo. And we'll be learning about it in a little while, but it's called single crystal. Uh, so now we want to continue and discuss. So we had, uh, you know, we had converted energy, we had input energy. But what about this loss? There's not loss energy. What, what, where, where, where did the ener energy go? You know, if it's not, if it's inputted, and it's not, and we have converted, 0 0.3, the input is 1 joule, then what happened in rest? We can imagine the rest is stored 0 0.7 joules. It's stored as pure electrical energy. And this pure electrical energy uh, that I'm talking about, this is actually uh, like like a pure electrical energy, you could say. A pure electrical energy that happened. So we put in one joule, we got out three for converted into mechanical, and we when we were left with 0 0.7, which is like a pure. So this is not this stored energy is not directly shown in this k squared but if you subtract the top and the bottom uh, obviously you'll get this stored pure energy and you'll be seeing later these these terms 1 minus k squared right 1 minus k squared is what 1 minus k squared is that pure energy the ratio of the pure energy you'll, you'll be seeing this in some other constants which I'm going to define which are depend on boundary conditions but that's for uh, another uh, session so this is that this is this telling us that converted energy and you know, just like last lecture, where I where we applied an electric field, you know, and and we got this k squared depending on the mechanical energy converted. This is converted, and this is the you know electrical energy input. Um, just like we got this k squared here. See, this is not electrical energy stored. Understand that this is not electrical energy stored. It's electrical energy input. And uh, once we discuss all the other constants, this will become more and more clear. So this is a very important thing to know, that there's a difference between stored energy, the difference between input energy, which is like a total that we put in. It, it's kind of seen by the power source. And there's a converted energy that we kind of see converted either. It can, you can apply a stress. You can also apply a stress as input energy. And then you get output energy uh, as that capacitor you know, through the dx term. You know how we substituted last lecture dE for x squared? Uh, we can also substitute dx for the dielectric displacement, you know, and that would also give the uh, um, 
coupling factor and I, I may do that in the next lecture but so you understand this fact about the converted energy uh, which is the output kind of mechanic and our and in our, in our example was the mechanical the input energy which almost seemed like the electrical energy you know it seemed like electrical energy you know I, I defined as one half CV squared that's the electrical energy why is it not stored uh, because this is a piezoelectric material and there's a difference be between the apparent input energy the apparent stored energy this is apparently stored and the actual stored energy the actual stored energy uh, you know is uh, like I said it's, it's kind of related to this one half k squared term which gives us this you know amount of stored electrical energy and then converted remember this can be either be input mechanical input apparent mechanical stored mechanical converted electrical it doesn't make a difference which way you do it um, I hope all of this made sense uh, because you know these are very important concepts they'll come up and over and over again I'll, I'll discuss it again and again um, but hopefully re-listening to the lecture over and over understanding these terms you know I'm explaining them quickly but understand input energy stored energy converted energy this energy diagram it's pretty important to understand this energy diagram what is apparent what is stored what is converted how does it all work out um, this is something that is important uh, and we'll be reiterating these points in the coming lectures. Thank you.